Hello, Beta. Good afternoon. In today's class, we are going to go ahead and talk about Chapter 7 Blanchard, which is the AS AD curve. It is putting all markets together, the AS AD curve. Right, Beta? So please write down putting all markets together, the AS. AD model. So in this class, we're going to go ahead and talk about the AS AD model as a whole. But first of all, try and remember what is the wage determination equation that we had learned. The wage determination equation. So how do we determine the wages? This wage determination relation, it could have been written as W is equal to PE F U comma Z. So we said that wages, they depend on expected price. They depend on unemployment rate and they depend on the catch-all variable. This is coming from chapter six, Bache, that I have taught you. Okay. Then the other thing that we talked about that was the price determination relationship. Hmm. And the price determination relationship that I talked about, it was, what was that beta? So it was to go ahead and understand that price is a markup over and above the wage. And price is set by the firms and it is a markup over and above the wage. Now, if you remember, we had gone ahead and we had found out the equilibrium in chapter 6 by assuming that the expected price is equal to the actual price. We in chapter 6, right, Peter? In today's lecture, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I am going to just negate that assumption. And what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to pick up this relationship from the wage determining, determining relation. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that. I will put that here. So if I go ahead and I plug in that here, what will I get? I will get P is equal to one plus view P E U Z. Clear or better? So I have eliminated the nominal wage from the two equation. And how did I eliminate it? I eliminated it by putting this. So I can call this as equation one. I can call this as equation two. So I plugged in equation one value inside equation two and I eliminated it. Clear one? Achha, tell me something. But what is unemployment rate? Unemployment rate is number of people unemployed divided by the total labor force. How many people are unemployed? Total labor force minus people are employed. So let's say that N represents the number of people employed. Right, beta? L represents the total labor force. Right, beta? So divided by L. Can I write this as L by L minus N by L? Yes, ma'am. I can write this as 1 minus N by L? Yes. Beta, now, if you remember, in the last class, I had gone ahead and I had talked about a production function. What was that production function? Production function said that output will be A into N. Output was one on one with the labor. So N was representing the number of people employed. And we said that output will directly be affected by the number of people employed. And A was my technology, but I had taken this A as 1. So when I took this A as 1, I had got Y is equal to N. So jitne log employed hoonge, utna hi output produce hoga. The number of, the amount of output that will be created will be equal to the number of people employed. So, but can I replace this N with L because Y is equal to N? I can do that. So, what will I get from here? I will get this is equal to 1 minus Y by L. 
So from here, what do I achieve? I achieve u is equal to 1 minus y by L. So I have been able to derive a relationship between unemployment and output. Is this clear? Okay. Now just try to think about this a bit more further. But if we think about it, we should understand that there is a negative sign outside the value of y. Can you see this negative sign? This negative sign, it tells us that these two, unemployment rate and output, they are negatively related to each other. Unemployment rate and output, they are negatively related to each other. Clear me, Bhatt, what does this mean? Very simple. But if output will increase, if production will increase, you will need more people for it. If it will automatically increase. So when output increases, the number of people I will employ will increase. When the number of people I employ increase, the number of people unemployed will automatically decrease. So can I go ahead and say that the higher the output, the lower the unemployment rate. If more output is to be produced, when output increases, employment increases. If employment increases, unemployment decreases. So unemployment rate also decreases. So less people will be unemployed. Clear way about? Okay. Now, what, what do I want to do? So I want to go back to this relationship. Beta. And from this relationship, what I want to do is, I have just now derived u in terms of y. u ko y ke terms mein se likha na? u is equal to 1 minus y by L. So I've just now derived u in terms of y. I just want to put that there better. So what will happen? P is equal to PE 1 plus mu F. And instead of u, yaha pe u hai na amara, instead of that u beta, I'm going to write this entire thing. So I will have 1 minus y by L comma Z. Is this clear? Okay. So now what I have been able to do, but I have been able to derive a relationship between P and Y. Between P and Y. Clear way, but Achha. Can you tell me through our earlier information, but what is the relationship between U and inflation? We know that Unemployment rate and inflation are negatively related to each other. This also is clear to us, will be clear to us through the chapter, next chapter that we have done, which is the Phillips curve. The Phillips curve tells us that unemployment rate and inflation are negatively related to each other. See, when there is higher unemployment, jab unemployment bohut zyada hoti hai, then the bargaining power falls. People are not able to bargain. But when bargaining power falls, they can only ask for less wage. When wages will be less, then cost of production is less. So price of the product can be less. So inflation will be less. So, but a high unemployment is always related to low inflation. But, but I have just now proved you that unemployment and output are negatively related. Jab output zyada hota hai, to employment zyada hoti hai, to unemployment kam hoti hai. So, unemployment and output, they are negatively related to each other. So, what have we proved? We have proved that if there is higher unemployment, matlab u zyada hai, but what does that mean? There will be lower output. So y will be less. So less y means higher unemployment and higher unemployment means less price level, less inflation. 
सो बेटा इनको अगर मैं कंबाइन करूं व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप आई एम गेटिंग बिटवीन आउटपुट एंड इन्फ्लेशन आई एम गोइंग अहेड एंड आई एम गेटिंग अ नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन आउटपुट एंड इन्फ्लेशन आउटपुट और इन्फ्लेशन के बीच में डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप है यू सी दिस दे आर मूविंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन सो आई कैन गो हेड एंड से दैट वाई एंड पी आर directly related y and p are directly related beta this is nothing but the as curve the as curve gives me relationship between the output and the price that at what level of price i want to supply what level of the output so just see here if i take level of price as p1 then beta my output level is y1 if i take level of price as p2 then beta my output level is y2 if the price increases if the price at which firm can sell its output jis price pe firm apna output bech sakte hain agar wo price badh jayega if the out if the price will increase firm will be willing to sell more output so can i say there is a positive relationship between p and y yes ma'am we can say that so that means that this is going to be upward sloping as well so but this equation that you have here this equation, this is giving me that same relationship but don't go by this negative sign na na this negative sign it represented u na ye to u ki jagah par aaya hai and unemployment and p have an inverse relationship hai ki nahi hai so beta if u and p have an inverse relationship and u and y also are negatively related to p or y to positively related hua hai na let me repeat this try to understand instead of u instead of u beta i wrote 1 minus y by l u and p they have inverse relation u and y also have inverse relation samjho baat ko this is what i proved ki jab y badhta hai to unemployment kam ho jati hai u and y have inverse relation so beta u and p they are inversely related to so, suppose u increases to p gir jayega u and y are also inversely related so beta when unemployment increases output will also decrease so isse can't i say that they are directly related i can so beta p and y they have a direct relationship in this equation and this equation itself beta this is called as the as square its derivation can come in exam so this is known as the as relation i hope all of you are clear with it so now my as curve it has beta two important properties there are two properties that your as curve has okay property number 1 the first property it is related to what happens as uh, the derivation of the as curve matlab ki what is the movement around the as curve so what 